Welcome back to Powerhouse. If you're interested in a heating system that requires absolutely no duct work, then a mini split system may be the one for you. This is Andrew Senti with Mitsubishi Electric. And Andy, explain to us what a mini split system is. Hi, Megan. Thanks for having me. Um, you know, most folks are familiar with a with traditional system where we'll have an air conditioner sitting outside and we'll have a furnace uh, sitting in the basement. So we have to have two separate systems for heating and cooling. The way our system works is we actually have just one of these outdoor. We don't actually have anything in the basement. We'll have individual units scattered throughout the house that can heat and cool off of this one outdoor unit. Now some people may have heard of this technology or even this product, but there have been some great technological strides made in the last couple of years. Yeah, ab absolutely. Um, actually, Mitsubishi Electric has been in the United States for over 30 years. Um, we've come a long way since the beginning. Um, right now we actually have a product we call our Hyperheat product that could actually provide great heating capacity all the way down to minus 18, which you think about the climate we're in, that's, that's great news. And that's not wind chill, that's actual temperature. That's actual temperature. Um, why don't you tell us about the applications that you see this particular system um, being used in? Yeah, Megan, you know, there really is not a bad application for this. The studies we've done is about 70% of homes have hot and cold spots. So what that means is most, most viewers today probably have a room in their house that they find is uncomfortable in the wintertime, and their existing system really cannot keep that, that space warm. So that's a great application. Uh, another obvious application is homes that are built with a boiler heat, so they have radiators scattered throughout the house, so they don't have duct work, so we can supplement those heating costs and add air conditioning, or places that have electric heat, because we know uh, electric resistance heat um, is not always the most efficient option. Andy, I can only imagine that there are many benefits and advantages to having a system like this. Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, I think our, our biggest benefit is the fact that we're about 40% more efficient than a traditional system. So what that means for the average homeowner is a, a lot of energy savings. Um, another great be benefit is the fact that we can zone our systems. Most homes have one zone. They have one thermostat. Their whole house is they're trying to keep it the same temperature. We can have um, you know, you could have your bedroom at 72 degrees, you could have your basement at 68 degrees, whatever you choose, we have that capability. The other tremendous feature is the lack of noise that our units produce. We're standing by this outdoor unit right now and it's running and you, and you can barely hear, you know, how quiet it is. Uh, the indoor units uh, are also extremely quiet, which, you know, people are really sensitive to. They, they want to make sure that the device in their, in their home is, is quiet. Right. I have to say this is remarkable. Typically we have to shut all the machinery off when we shoot the show and we're standing right next to it and it's so quiet. Yeah, absolutely. This is great information, thanks. I'm gonna go see what the homeowner sees on the inside of the house by talking to the contractor. Great. It's much warmer in here, Tim. Welcome in, Megan. <laughs> thanks. This is Tim Steckline from Colony Heating and Air Conditioning and you were the contractor who installed this unit here on this porch. Correct. Explain to us what the benefits are for you as an installer in putting in a system like this. Uh, some of the advantages would be time. We can typically get one of these ductless systems installed in a day or less. Another advantage is flexibility. The indoor unit can be placed anywhere within this room, either in the ceiling, on the wall like it is here, or on the floor. Another advantage is the variety of these units. They come in several different sizes and styles to fit any room's decor or design needs. Yeah, I would imagine that that would be a consideration is how something looks, especially if you have Absolutely. maybe an historic property or something like that. Eventually it just blends in and you don't even notice it's there. Share with us some of the other benefits for the homeowner. Uh, some of the main benefits are zone control. Instead of having one thermostat that controls the temperature in an entire home, with ductless split, split systems, you can control the temperature in each room. Um, a zone could consist of one room, a couple rooms, or an entire floor of a house. You could actually even take an unoccupied room and turn the indoor unit off for additional cost savings. Another benefit would be cleaner air from the indoor units. Um, the indoor units have several filters in them. They're low maintenance, very easy to clean. Basically, you open a filter access, slide the screen out, wash it off, allow it to dry, and then slide it back into the unit. Now, I see you have a remote control in your hands. Can I operate this with this? Yes, that's the remote control that comes with the unit. Very easy to operate. You basically arrow up or arrow down depending on whether you want it to be warmer or cooler in the air. There are some other functions in there, but those are the main options. Another way to control this unit would be remotely from anywhere in the world by using any internet enabled device such as a tablet or a smartphone. So if I'm vacationing somewhere warm in the winter time and I hear that the temperature is dropping back home, I can prevent my pipes from bursting. Absolutely. Or have a warm bed when I come home from vacation. Absolutely. 
People love that option. Absolutely. This is great information. I think the final piece that we're missing that our viewers are always interested in is the cost. What's the investment for, let's take this particular project, right. this unit in a sunroom, right. what did that in cost? In a project like this where it's either, either a remodel or an addition, um, typically this unit's going to be the best choice for the, for the job. It's a little bit less expensive than a conventional system. Um, in this particular job, this room sits on a concrete slab. So we weren't able to get ductwork out here. So the ductless system was, was the bet, best fit for this application. Right, and how much did that cost this home? Uh, this, a, a one to one ratio, one indoor unit, one outdoor unit, you're gonna be looking approximately $3,500 to $4,500 installed. Okay, um, and less than a day, all of those other benefits too. How about Correct. new construction? In new construction, you're probably gonna have to have several of the indoor units. Therefore, the cost of the, of the ductless system is probably gonna be a little bit more than a conventional system. But because the ductless systems are so much more efficient and have lower operating costs, that that price difference is gonna pay for itself in a short period of time. Absolutely, it's all about making an investment. Thanks so much, Tim. You're welcome. If you'd like more information about how a mini split works, go to our website, powerhousetv.com.